Little Noah, Cyan of Paradise is a dungeon crawling roguelike action platformer published and developed by side games where you play as the alchemist exploring the secrets of some ancient runes each run is procedurally generated and as you venture into runes there are branching paths that can choose for a different loot buff in the preceding map for example more fire wars or more accessory drops so the gameplay works like this you can move you can jump you can double jump you can dash on the ground you can dash in the air one time while you're in the air and then there are two skill slots and a five attack combo string the interesting part is that you can actually customize these skill slots and attack combos that you want to do by equipping creatures called Lilliputs. So each Lilliput has an attack, has a skill, and has ability. As you upgrade your bond, you can unlock the ability. Some abilities just give you buzzes by being in inventory. So depending on how you feel, you can put it either like at your fourth combo string or as, last, as your one of your two skill slots that you can use. Um, and the skill clock do have a cooldown. I played it on Switch in hard mode. I just started off in hard mode and I was playing with a Switch Pro Controller. You can also play this on PS4 and PC on Steam. Um, enjoy some gameplay footage as I'll give my review at the end of this video. Maybe I should just change my attack to be one giant attack. <laughs> key. Shrimp? Oh man, shrimp sounds good right now. Increase damage. We got a two star. Then you only need to dash once in the air. <laughs> oh, I can't jump up there? Watch. Heck, man. It's, kind of, it's kind of hard to tell which one is platform and which one is not. Dude, the last one's pretty good. It costs stun. That's a heal. I want to go to the next area first. No, we'll go for that. Nearby foes. Let's just venture through the whole place and then move on. Rascal. <laughs> Escaped already? What the heck? Keep so quick. It's like the end of the map and I have to walk there. Alright, so far so good. I haven't got hit. I'm just thinking to myself now. I'm trying to encounter the double jump. Need more, need more attacks. <laughs> they need the bombers. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that the one that just stomps on the ground? Hold on. Cause knockback. What if I have that as a skill? This launches ahead. Pew! Oh. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, Lino. This actually seems pretty good at the first attacker. Funny though, it just you can just drop bombs. <laughs> you guys just drop bombs. Maple story. I mean, it's a platformer. So kind of. But it had you. You can you can customize the moves to your regular attack, pretty much. Ice crit increases chance to inflict burn. Hold on, let's see. May cause burn? Oh, here we go. Okay. We're gonna- we're gonna put this... Folding. Oh, it's a shot! It kind of reminds me of Dragon Nest, I think? In terms of, uh... Graphics? You know, another Lionel? Who's inspired damage? Oh, we're getting that. This, this is gonna- this is gonna do even more damage. I guess I'm capping on fire now. Monster Lair, Botan Kaidos. I can see that. Oh, for the Angela. Okay. Gonna see. Oh, it's a wind attack. And maybe, maybe if I swap this out over here. Character attacks? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like, yeah, Pokemon. Pokemon attacks. Wait, I get a barrier? Hold on a second. Repel. Take charge of your personal space. Hmm. Oh, you can, if you upgrade the ability, it can heal. Oh, I've used that ability, which is, I think, the Y button? I have. Actually, I like it as a normal attack. Let's see. What if I do this? Macking out on fire. I can just drop bombs. It's nice. Let's go. Wah! Just drop them down. I can do this. I don't even have to get down, just go like this. Hold on, let's see, can I, can I spike him? Nope. <laughs> Drop him at the bomb. Aw, oh, too many heals. Another heal? Oh. Alright, let's see what we got here. Um, distance. We'll go for the distance because I have the second attack to be a distance attack. And also, if I use my my skill right now, I like the customization. What is this? Oh, the monster layer.
Go. What? I got hit? No. Eat it. Yeah, it's a switch game. I just dropped today. No, I got hit. Oh my god. I don't think I need a pot. Oh yeah, head over the window deck. <laughs> Wait, I didn't die. So the shrimp. Is that good? Oh, a three star. Mirage attack. Sorry. The skill is two slashes. A legion of health blades coming out. Home it drains. Oh man, should I go for drain? <laughs> Homing and drain. And then I'll drop this guy for this guy. It homes. Ah, uh, 15 bucks. It's not too bad. Not, not like a full price game. Dead end. I was like, can I go up? Nope. I wish I could dash up. I need to check the map. Uh, minus. Alright, I got to the last stage here. I got a decent arsenal now. 9 mana. I guess. <laughs> Can I get a heal? Right. Heat element. Damn, I have to go this way only? I have to unlock the other one so I can... Tornado is nice. It's, it knocks them up, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Give me my money. Money. Oh, damn. We can level him up. Use his sack of foal. This is fire, water. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to level two. Can I feed him? There's no feeding thing. It says level two now, but. Alright, I guess they all just level 2. Yo, what if I just... 
not use this and then just only use like double this. This straight up powerhouse right here. <laughs> Nothing about powerhouses. Powerhouse skills. I mean attacks. Boom 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 boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat it. I'm just, I'm just nuking now. How do you mean me to get down? Wind damage? Oh, I can't break the chest from here. Alright, we're gonna go to the monster... Um, monster lair, or whatever it is. Oh my god, these cats don't stun. Damn it, stop! I'm trying to play it safe right here. Okay. Oh my god, how many are there? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, if I just stay here, they're trying to hit me, but they can't. Try to jump at me. Oh my god, that was rough. That drill did like 80 damage. Oh, I didn't know I had, I had the burst ready. Oh, Tom Beam. Hmm. Oops. I need a heal. I have no potion. Uh, let's see... Go down. Oh, what? Oh, the photon beam didn't even hit. Oh, it didn't... Damn it! It's supposed to flinch! Alright, photon beam kinda sucks. Unless I play range.
Oh, I thought that was a regular. I thought it was attack, and then it was stun them. But I like how they have. I like its roguelikes, right? So the roguelike games are pretty fun, especially with the like they have statues where you can like give you more passives, and of course there's a lot of stuff you can buy, right? In the ship repairs, there's so many basic facilities, reduction, booster, accessories. I think you just unlock these when you get them. Um, and then you can get more statue uh, placements. You get statues by doing like achievement sign of things. And then you can also increase your your lily putts, which is also pretty great. Um, and then that that's like another progression system. So the pets do different things here, right? If you can max it out, you get the the ability. Some of them are passive like inventory, so I usually will probably want to aim for these. Max these out first, because then most likely um, as you play, you're gonna not use these guys. So you end up just being inventory and also buffing you while being in inventory. So you usually start out with this guy, this guy, and then a, a, a dump. So this one also has it pretty determined. Uh, so yeah, the statues is the passive that you get from unlocking with achievements. Right, first one you only get one, you can slowly unlock more pedestals. And then I unlocked this already, right? This give me a... Oh, random accessory. This one I think is the... A single buff after you you get this you rescued the cat um, if you use this support rank will reset when you return to airship so I think after you beat uh, I think every boss or something you will encounter zipper and then zipper will give you a chest and then depending on what support item it is you get you get that and apparently there's ultimate you can unlock too I only have one so far and apparently you can also... What, I don't know what these bottom ones are. I guess it boosts specific Lilliputs depending on the avatar. I don't know. I haven't got one yet. So it's pretty fun. You go through every map. Um, you just jump off and then you start off. You get accessories. You get Lilliputs. And the Lilliputs actually change your skills. So depending on your Lilliputs, it actually changes your attacks. And then you can set which one, each one have attack and a skill, right? So you can put one for each one, uh, whatever you want to customize. So it's pretty fun. It gives you a lot of customization, so I enjoy it. And the graphics remind me of Dragon Nest, and I guess Bravely Default. And I enjoy it. So the graphics are pretty nice. The gameplay is pretty simple, right? You can double jump, you can dash. Some skills increases your dash. Um, to give you like ice on the floor while you dash or fire when you do a dash in the air stuff like that yeah it's pretty cute i have to say yeah um you unlock potions there's a lot of unlockable i have to say i didn't even know i had the skill what is this oh yeah, that freezes time and then you actually could dash yeah. so you unlock new abilities as you do it yeah it's on a switch it's pretty cheap for 15 bucks i have to say um, like compared to all the regular games that you get, like all the regular games, they're like sixty dollars or forty dollars. This one's only fifteen, and it's pretty nice. But side games, side games, are pretty good uh, in terms of game making, in my opinion. I I'm biased, Dragali Lost kind of thing, but um, yeah, that's like my quick overview review. I will have to say, so far, first impressions, I give this probably like a. I want to play more. I don't know if I should give it a number. Okay, the rating... The overall rating is... I want to play more out of 10. <laughs> I just want to beat it and play more. I have not... I'm not tired of it yet, so... Um, I'll play it more next stream. 69 is a number. Out of 10. 